I'm Laura Ray and today I have some fun makeup to share with you. I have been really diving into Wet n Wild. I've used Wet n Wild for years and years and they have so many great affordable products and some hidden gems. So I want to share some of the ones that I've been using and just share how they're working for me. Before we get started, I want to talk about what I did before I put any makeup on. First of all, we'll start with vitamin C. I have been using this vitamin C from Numbuzzin. It's the 5 Plus. It's super affordable. I'm trying to get vitamin C back into my skincare routine. I took it out a while back and now my skin is in a much better place. And so I'm adding the vitamin C back because I've used it since I was at least 40. And I took it out for a while when I, my skin was very reactive, but my skin's calmed down. So I put this into my routine. This is a new product for me, and so far it's working great. Also, I'm using the Six Peptide Skin Booster from CauseRx. This is just wonderful. Six great ingredients I was looking for, all wrapped up in one. I try to keep my skincare routine affordable because I know I'm going to be repurchasing these products for long-term use. So I always look for things that I can keep in my routine. For sunscreen today, I've been trying this one out from Bliss that I ordered. It's their Sheer Tinted Daily Sunscreen. It's got a SPF of 30. It goes on super smoothly. It has a very neutral tone to it. It has a slight scent, but not anything that's irritating. It's very pleasant, actually, but it's not very fragrant. So it works for me. I'm very scent sensitive. Some of these sunscreens I've had to not use because strictly the scent was too irritating. But I'm loving this. It's vegan. It's cruelty-free. It's just been a great product so far. Wet n Wild hit a home run with these new lip oils. I am loving them. They're pretty affordable, I think around $7, and it says seven oils in it. Today I put on this sort of pinky red shade called Dress Code, but the other two that I bought and love are called Vintage Society and Fuzzy Pillow. But this does have a peppermint feel to it. So if you don't like that, I have to be very careful when I put it on first and then I'm applying makeup because if I get it on the rest of my skin, I get reactive. So if you don't like that peppermint feel, you won't like these. But these are very hydrating and I think they're just gorgeous on the lips. What I'm wearing on my lips right now is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. This is an older product, but boy, is it worth mentioning. It stains your lips. I put this on last night, not this coating. I did it before I went on camera, and I really had to clean it off when I got up because it looked the same as when I went to bed. Now, I want to tell you that the look of this is matte. I know they had some that had dewiness to it because I've bought those in the past and they were very glossy and beautiful. This one is matte, but the way I get it to look better on my lips is to use my Revlon Jelly Tool. This takes away having too much of the product on the lips and just really makes it into a stain. I know this is going to last all day. It'll probably be on when I go to bed, even after drinking coffee. It's just amazing. So if you're looking for a lip stain that will last, that's super affordable, then you'll love this. Another standout product for me is the Wet n Wild, the eyeshadow primer. I've used this for so long. It doesn't have a lot of color to it. So if you have discoloration in your lids, you're trying to cover up then this isn't a product you'll like. But if you're just looking for smoother lids, for it to be more long-lasting, your shadows, then I think this is just perfect. It's super affordable. It lasts a long time. There's a lot of product in here. Let's see, it says 0.34 ounces. It seems like tons of it because I've had this forever. But it really makes the shadows go on beautifully. 
this is a new product for me, let me know what you think in the comments. This is the Wet n Wild Brow Maximizer. I've never tried this before. I'm trying it on camera for the first time. It did surprise me because when I opened it up, it says brow powder on one side. So I expected, I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect this. It looks like an eyeliner brush. It's very pointed and you just go right into the brows. Now the downside of this, wow, that's pretty powerful. The downside of this is that you can't really draw hairs. So if you're used to using a fine pencil to draw in hair and make more hair than you actually have, you're not going to be interested in this. But if you're looking to fill in gaps and holes you might have for missing hair, then I think it's really good. Now on the other side is brow gel and it's just clear and I felt like it really stays. Like these brows are not moving all day. I did them a little more intense because they didn't actually have the color that I typically use. This is ash brown. I usually use taupe in my brows, but I think they look pretty great. Now something I discovered that's not wet and wild that I think is off the chain great is this little brush from Morphe. It's a brow brush, but I like to use it also for lining my eyes. This side is a curved brush that goes perfectly right along the lash line. And on this side, it has like a silicone brush like you would see in a uh, mascara wand that just combs through the brows so beautifully. I love this tool. This is amazing. I think it's one of my best recent finds. Let's talk about eyeshadow. This isn't a palette I would normally buy. It's called uh, Lights Off. And the reason I say that, it's got a lot of dark shades, but it's a mixture of dark and also shimmer. I think it's a beautiful palette. I just usually go with palettes that have more lighter shades. But when I bought it, I thought this would be perfect for eyeliner. So today I'm using this Hunter Green shade. Just absolutely beautiful. If you're looking to play around with some new shades for eyeliner, pick an eyeshadow palette. Even go into your collection you already have and try out shades as eyeliner. I love doing this. You can always even wet the brush a little bit I always keep in my makeup room this. It's the Aven water. And some people would think, why are you spending money for water? But this is so hygienic to have it here in the can. And I can just spray my makeup sponges, spray my brushes to get them damp when I'm applying makeup. So it's super convenient for me, especially since I'm not in a bathroom putting on makeup. I'm in a filming room. So this palette, you've got black, you've got the hunter green, brown. Then you have this beautiful taupe that I'm using on my lids today. Now, for those of you that love shimmer, you're going to go crazy for this because look at how beautiful. These shades really grab attention. So if you're looking for that, it has that too. But even if you just like mattes, because this is so affordable, I think this palette is so worth it. A new mascara that Wet n Wild has come out with is called So Defined. They say that it's volumizing. I definitely agree with that. I have sort of thin lashes, puny lashes, and let's take a look. I think they look pretty thick knowing my lashes. I didn't put any on the bottom lashes. Now I have worn this before and I really like it. I'm not usually a huge fan of Wet n Wild mascara. My favorite is the one they had that had a primer and mascara on it, or actually it was fibers. One side had fibers and the other side sort of sealed it all in. I used that forever. That is one of my all-time favorite mascaras, but most of them that they come out with, I don't think are that great. But so far, I'm loving this one. Once in a while, Wet n Wild comes out with innovative products, and I think that's what they have with this. It says it's a five-in-one essence primer and finishing powder. It's 
supposed to smooth, condition, refine pores, balance everything, and you can use it pre and post makeup. So that's what I'm doing today. I put it on top of my sunscreen as a primer. When you first put it on, it's sort of scary because I thought it looked patchy. I thought it got in my pores. It looked so white. But as I took my sponge and, you know, pressed into the skin, it like melted. It disappeared and gave such a beautiful look. I love the way this looks on my nose. My nose is always shiny. It's always been that way. But this gives me a much more matte look to the nose. So I love that. I have combination skin. I still get oily, especially in the summer, like it is right now. It's so humid. But this is pretty amazing. There's a couple of things I want to add about this product. It's they use mica. They don't use talc. And also dimethicone's in it. That's what's giving that smoothing. So I just wanted to add that because very few powders at the drugstore are talc-free. For blush today, I'm using this palette. This is the Hello Halo. And when you look at it, it's very Charlotte-esque, very shimmery. But on my skin, it just sort of blends in and really doesn't look as shimmery as it does in the pan. It's much softer. Now, I'm not wearing the highlighter today. I didn't put that on, but let me put a little on now so you can see that. It's pretty glowy. I don't usually wear something that glowy, but let's take a wedge sponge and sort of press it in. Well, that looks really nice. Definitely some highlight. I don't usually wear that bright of a highlight for daytime, but it is beautiful. So if you're looking for more of that glam look, I definitely think this palette will give it to you. This is a palette probably many of you bought. It's the Contour, the Mega Glow palette. It is huge, isn't it? And on this side, you have your contour and then sort of a banana powder. I remember when this first came out, I ran to get it because most of the palettes that were contouring and brightening were super expensive. So I've loved this for a long time. This is the shade Dulce de Leche. I love the way it works with my medium skin. I think it gives such a healthy look. It's super affordable. It does have some fallout. So when I use it, I take whatever brush I'm using and make sure to work the powder into the brush, then apply, then I don't get all of that fallout. But I think it really does give a beautiful look. If you want that bronzy look with a little sparkle, then this will be your jam, the Color Icon Bronzer. This is the shade Palm Beach Ready, and it definitely has that little bit of bronzy sparkle in it but it is such a nice powder. I like what they've done here, putting a palm leaf on the actual powder. I remember when they started doing that in powders, they started with some of the higher end brands and then finally it came to the drugstore where we could get that pretty look too on the actual powder. But I think this looks really nice. I don't usually use all this glow in my forehead like this, like I did today, but I wanted you to see how it would look. I know some people love that. I've also seen people take this and like put it on their collarbone or their shoulders for summer. This isn't a product I would personally use every day. I just like more of a matte look or a satin finish, but for special occasions or if I want to get that bronzy glow going, it's super affordable and fun. Some of the Wet n Wild foundations have worked for me, but as the day goes on, they sort of don't look as great. I do like this new one from Wet n Wild. It's as up to 24 hours of hydration, and it's got 5% niacinamide in it, hyaluronic acid. I bought it in the shade light medium, and I think that worked pretty well for me. It's always challenging trying to find the right shade of foundation on the first try, but I think this worked really well. It spreads nicely. It does not have that strong paint scent that was in their other foundations or that have been in their other foundations. This has a little bit of a scent 
but not strong and not where I even noticed it. And that's usually the first thing I notice when I open a foundation, my thought instantly goes to, is there going to be a scent? Am I going to have a reaction to it? This did not cause my sensitive skin any kind of reaction. It didn't plug up my sinuses from the scent. It didn't break me out. I will often, if I have a reaction, have what looks like acne the next day, but it's not. It's uh, just either rosacea or some kind of rash reaction. But this didn't cause me any reaction. I do see a little bit collecting here in my fine line. So if you are going to try it, what I recommend is take a clean brush like I've done throughout my makeup application and just go over to get rid of any extra. I didn't actually even put much foundation on because I already had the tinted sunscreen on. Sometimes if sunscreen hasn't dried down enough, when I'm sitting here making a video, I'm more on a time schedule. If I were just in my bathroom applying makeup, I'd put my sunscreen on and wait a few minutes before adding makeup on top. But overall, I think it looks great. I don't see it in my forehead lines. It does a really good job. Now, do I love this as much as my Catrice Tinted Serum? I would say not, but this is very close. They did a great job with this product. Two things I didn't show in the video I want to share with you that I think are fabulous. One is their eyeshadows. The cream eyeshadows are beautiful. I just bought this one Lunar Beige, but I've had others. I've used them for a long time. The pigment stays all day. It doesn't fade. It's just fabulous. So if you're looking for an affordable liquid eyeshadow, then I say give Wet n Wild a try. Now, another thing that's only around a little over $2 most of the time are these lip gloss sticks. And I'm going to put a little of this in the center of my lips so you can see how beautiful it is. I just think these are great if you're looking for an affordable lip gloss. Give this one a try. All of the links for these products will be in the description of the video, and I'll also link these earrings. They are so adorable. I've been in love with these. I am fascinated by butterflies. I've been to a place in South Florida called Butterfly World so many times, and recently when we went to Mackinac Island, they also have a butterfly a uh, place you can go to where they're just flying everywhere in a greenhouse. And we had so much fun. But I think these are so beautiful. They're very lightweight. I don't wear heavy earrings. I hardly even notice these are on, but they add a lot of sparkle, I think. So I'll link all of it. Thank you so much for shopping those links, for supporting my channel. I hope you all have a blessed week, a beautiful week, and make sure to stop by and see me soon.